Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Session Recap Standard Monday webinar, where we, where we can see five different pairs, uh, and sometimes even more, and then uh, we see different setups, which usually turn into profits, let's say, 80% of the time we can be in profit. The biggest thing is which pairs are good to trade, which pairs are not good to trade, and that is what we are trying to figure out in this uh, webinar, and uh, this is what uh, I will show you today, because market is a bit slow, so we might uh, have a little bit of waiting until right setup happens. So today is May Day, it's the 1st of May, it's a national holiday, mostly in Europe, but I expect price moving to return during Asian session. And before I begin, I wish to say hi, hi to everyone. Hi to everyone, guys, and uh, I can see your messages. Everything is fine. It's a little bit slow, but well, then again, I think that slow market is good that because during Asia session and tomorrow during early London, we should see some nice volatility. Okay, guys, before I proceed, standard is disclaimer explaining that online educational materials are developed by Admiral Markets Estonia for a global audience, and Admiral Markets UK Ltd takes no responsibility for the information accuracy. This is solely for its informational and educational pur uh, purposes only, and this is my uh, personal opinion. Risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with Forex market by accepting the risk. You're also proceeding further with me. Okay, and here. Past week results, 24 of April 2017. Euro dollar alternative trade, 80 possible pips. Pound dollar alternative trade, plus 45 pips. Australian dollar alternative trade, either plus 20 or minus 30, depending if you close your trade or you actually let it run. Australian dollar alternative trade, but the biggest thing is we saw a pound yen, guys, a great movement, unfortunately didn't qualify, so I couldn't say it was the trade of the week, but definitely the biggest mover that was very, very short from POC zone, but the biggest mover pound yen, so you either took 90 pips even more or didn't qualify, or euro yen breakout for plus 50. I will show you now, total pips pool, 305, 335, guys. This is maximum possible number of pips you could have made. Now, rules and setups. For all of you newcomers, pay attention. And even though, guys, if you're longer, if you've been longer here with me, longer time here with me, please listen to this because this is very important. You need to know where to, when to pull the trigger and when to stay out. So give price a breather. You usually enter within 15 pips of the predicted level if it's in agreement with your system. We call the zone POC or buffer zone. You should also use scaling in and you do your own trade and money management. Respect your stop loss always. Add a spread to your stop loss even if you trade via ECN at 2 to 5 pips spread depending on the pair traded. We take only one position per listed pair so it's either position or alternative trade, whichever hits first. First touch of the zone is the most profitable. That is why we need to focus on the first touch. This is very important. Uh, whenever the price kicks into the trading zone, we pull the trigger. But the most important uh, thing is the first touch of the zone. Because the first touch, the first entry within the zone is usually the most profitable. Positional trends are trend trades. Alternative trades are called counter trend trades. Breakout trades and scalp trade levels are usually traded independently of any position, and depending on time and volatility, usage of profit stop is encouraged. We use 20 pips profit stop, not less. The only exception is if we see that the price is really going nowhere and we don't know where it will end up, it might turn against us, so we actually can take less than 40 pips, less than 20 pips. Okay, then session recap setups are valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow. Pay attention to my Twitter updates, it's very important. Scalp trades should be done at or very close to important support resistance levels. 
Those are calculated by historic levels and Camarilla. Add these levels to your system, pay attention to trends so you might find other trend-based entries. And the term pips pool is the maximum available number of pips you could have got on recap entries. A lot of traders also who have recently started to follow me ask me uh, what is POC? Uh, in short guys, POC is the zone where I expect price to react. My uh, teaching and how I teach you to trade is different from most of uh, traders and uh, traders out there because some traders will tell you just trade with candlesticks, some tr traders will tell you trade with naked, some traders will tell you trade with uh, indicators, other traders will tell you use price charts. Well, the POC is the confluence of all Im most important parts of price action. Candlesticks, uh, chart patterns, important EMA, pivot points, uh, divergence, so everything is incorporated and that is why this analysis and my trading has been generally uh, around 80% successful. So that is what I wanted to always to tell you, so always follow uh, my analysis, follow what I, what I do here on these webinars for you and of course don't forget live trading webinars that are also on Wednesdays. Last uh, previous week, uh, Wednesday live trading webinar, we made two great entries and both of them came in profits. So I hope that you enjoyed it and yes, I mean, there is a lot more webinars to come, mostly focusing on price action trading and live trading. And I know guys, you're always interested to learn something new. So whenever I see that something can be updated, I will also update our price action trading school. Okay, now uh, let's move on to previous week setups. This was guys Euro dollar setup. Uh, we had a either buy position or alternative set, uh, sell position and the thing what happened is actually sell position at 1.0920. So the price went here, it didn't touch our stop loss and what happened afterward rejections. You see, so you could have made nice pips uh, Euro dollar for me was a trade of the week, uh, definitely nice number of pips on uh, Euro dollar, well some people actually uh, ev uh, even went short here, my original setup was to short 1.0920, so if you traded it you should have made nice profits, the trade of the week Euro dollar. Pound dollar was in uptrend but we actually got into sell position. So you see the first hit of our sell zone, the first our uh, the first uh, hit of our sell zone 2910 was very very good. You can see here pound dollar. Uh, this is what happened in the market and definitely it was one of uh, better trades for the previous week considering that this was the last chance to short pound dollar before the move to the upside. So here you can see 29.10, around 29.10 it was a short sell trade down to 28.64. So if you use scaling in here, whatever guys, you could have made nice uh, pips on rejection. Then again, don't forget that the main trend for pound dollar was to go long. So this was clearly counter trend trade and if you protected your profits, you could make some nice pips. Australian dollar was, uh, we, we had CPI data and the problem is the price whipsawed up and down, but then again if you traded it here, you could have seen that basically it was a buy position on trade at 75.30, originally it went into some profits around 75.50, but then it dropped heavily, so you, you either, if you protected your trade, you could have made pips. If you didn't, well then, it was a loss. Another trade that was very good setup, it showed excellent price movement, unfortunately didn't pull back towards 113.80, but it was very close, so you could have got in around 140 something, or at least if you follow price action guys, you could have made your entry here, okay, and 
you would have been in nice profits. The price unfortunately didn't pull to pull back to our POC zone, but then again, price action trading, guys. This was a rejection. This was an inside bar here. Definitely at the break of this level, guys. Here, it went up. So even though the, uh, that the price hadn't pulled back. Canon made a pullback towards our uh, entry zone. You would have been very positive if you traded it to the long side. Euro yen trade was a good one. Uh, let me see. I don't see it here, but I think I actually, yeah, I forgot to put it on my slide, but I will share it right away. Give me a few seconds, and I will show you our euro yen trade so euro yen was also very good and let me just put it here in the slide euro yen breakout trade okay here euro yen we had a buy position breakout by alternative sell and the setup that kicked in was Mostly we aim for a buy trade, but it was a breakout buy because price went up very, very heavily to the upside. Breakout happened here. Uh, maybe I made a mistake telling you to sell while it was a breakout, but if you traded breakout buy here, you would have made nice profits, guys, because this was a very strong breakout. breakout. Yes, uh, I, I should have said that uh, sell trade should have been above 121, not here, but at least if you made a breakout buy, it was a good trade because uh, usually when we make a breakout trade, then we, uh, we we trade either positional buy or breakout buy or positional sell or alternative sell and breakout sell, but we cannot trade breakout buy and alternative sell. Th this is my mistake, so sorry for that if you traded sell trade because uh, one of the rules is that we either go in a breakout main trend direction. So if we if we have an uptrend and we are in positional buy, we can either trade scalp buy or breakout buy. Uh, if the trade has been initiated from a sell position and we didn't make an entry on a sell because price already made a move, then we go only with breakout sell or scalp sell. That's very important, guys. And uh, I think I already explained in one of my webinars how I trade myself. And if you if you watch my live trading webinars on Wednesday, you know how I trade. So basically, first of all, I want to uh, make a positional trade. Positional trade uh, means that I want to make a trend trade. So I wait for the zone. If the zone is hit, then I make uh, a buy or sell, depending on my setup. Then if I miss the setup, I can go with either scalp or breakout trade. I go with scalp or breakout trade in trend direction. I don't go counter trend. But if I miss positional, breakout, scalp trade, then I wait for counter trend trade. So guys, don't forget, breakout trades are also most of the time trend trades. If we forget to get into a positional, we wait for breakout or scalp. Counter trend trades are counter trend. So you can only make a breakout trade if you are already missed a counter trend trade. Let's say we are long on euro dollar, so we can make breakout buy. We don't go for breakout sell. For example, if I if I if I had written it down, breakout sell, it would mean that you can trade breakout sell only if you miss this setup. So the price hit our POC zone, and you didn't manage to to enter then you can go with breakout sell or you can go with breakout with alternative sell and add one more position on a breakout so don't forget breakouts are only traded in the trend so it's positional trade and bre uh, for, and breakout or alternative trade and breakout meaning positional buy or end breakout buy or alternative sell and breakout sell okay so that is very very important and you definitely need 
you definitely need to know that uh, breakout trades are momentum trades okay and that means if the price gets into correct momentum it will instantly propel up your uh, profits if you're on the right side so my advice is to protect your trade once you're in the profit okay so that is very important for you to understand now guys let's see what can happen okay let's see what can happen this week again I will I'm long into dips on euro dollar and I will not make any uh, gap trading possible until this has been uh, this has been uh, activated okay guys so pay attention to this euro dollar is in uptrend positional by 1.0855 stop loss 0820 TP 1.0950 TP2 1.0980 Alternative sell 0980, stop loss 1.1105, TP 1.0840. Breakout sell here above last one hour high or last high with 2% of risk TP. What it means, I will show right away, guys. So let me pull up my chart. And here it is, euro dollar. So it means that. Uh, Euro dollar is in uptrend, and if it gets into the POC zone, that is 55, let's call it 60, 55, somewhere around this region, it could be good to go long. Also, if you pull a Fibonacci retracement, here you will see it's very close to 88.6, the most important Fibonacci retracement on my chart. And don't forget that it also will be supported from this trend line here so uh, this is retail gap a retail gap is uh, retail gap is something that uh, happens on retail forex market uh, don't forget that uh, interbank forex market is live 24/7 uh, so we are actually uh, when we trade uh, uh, gaps we need to know we need to make a difference between retail gap, breakaway gap, runaway gap, common gap, exhaustion gap. There are a lot of gaps. I already did a webinar on that, but it's not bad to mention it from time to time. Now, the thing is, this is a breakaway gap because the gap was done after the elections. There was not a common pattern that we could trade. So the gap hasn't been closed yet, and the only way I can see it closed is if the price breaks below this previous low that is at 1.820. So below 1.820, there is a chance that the gap will close. At least what can happen is you can try to trade the gap here, placing stop loss above last one hour ride, or making, I don't know, 120 or 130 pip stop loss with 2% of risk. That is very important. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, I made a typo here. So, uh, okay. So this is your long setup. Now, if you go short, okay, your short trade would have been activated, of course, here at H5 and ATR. Uh, long ATR high so this is a projection even though we use always 14 I will place it now it's still a little bit below but I would like to go here with 1.980 because 80 is also a natural support for this level don't forget 20s 50s 0 0 and 80s and 80s are natural support and resistance uh, resistance levels so you also want to try to spot trades close to the, these levels uh, your stop loss would be 1.1005 1 okay so yes this is a typo and I will correct it immediately give me okay I will do it like this and I will correct it. 1.1 10, 0, 5, it's 35 stop loss, not 100. 
in 125. So this is something that could be traded in my opinion. And I hope that uh, it will be possibly a hit. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so yeah, it seems that my PowerPoint is stuck. Well, let me reopen it. I will reopen my uh, slide so we can move on to next slide. So I'm not sure why it, it, it is stuck. Let me... Okay, it's okay now. So... Okay, pound dollar, guys. So, once more, guys, uh, this is typo. 1.1005. 1.1005 is the way to go. 35 pip stop loss add a little bit of spread to your stop okay that is important you always want to add a spread even if you trade by ECN add 2 to 5 pip just to cover up for some possible spikes and sell trade only below 0 a 20 where we could see maybe a possible gap close GBP dollar 28.60 buy position 28.25 stop 29.60 TP breakout by 29.60 below stop loss below last low usually we will watch one hour but if it's too close you can use four hour low TP 29.90 TP 2 30.40 alternative sell 30.40 stop loss 30.70 TP 29.60 don't forget that if you go with positional buy trade, you can also open break out buy trade. But if let's say alternative sell hits, you cannot go with this. Okay, so the only thing you can go with a with breakout buy is either if the price gets above this level 2960, or if you're old in position and then you can go also with a breakout. So this will be like scaling in if you are already in position of a buy. So here, see, this is the level to break. If it breaks, it should go to 2860. For this occasion, I will open, I will open weekly here. So here you can see it's straight above L4. And it's exactly exists to 1.8. So that is why where we might see some uh, bounce on from 35 to 60. This is the zone. See? L4 below in between 50 and 60. And also order block previous highs here. So if the price gets there, we might see a spike to the upside. This is uptrend. And I think that there is the chance, there is a chance that pound dollar could break psychological 30 level barrier. But the sell trade could happen around 3040 with stop loss 3070 and TP 2960. Okay? So probably what can happen is either a spike from this level, so please pay attention to 2880 to 29, it could be a spike. But if it breaks below, then I would be paying attention to 21, 2860. It's also, I say, 3540. This is the zone. 2860 is the highest. So here it could spike also to the upside. 2960 is the level to watch because about 2960, we should see next zone h3 h4 h5 possible hit and sell i would sell around 30 40 guys 30 40 is here you see this small candle
this is the zone where I expect price to reject. Okay, you can also see it here. A lot of rejections here and even on weekly. Okay, so let's let's get back here. Okay, so this is the setup for pound dollar. Uh, Modric is saying pound New Zealand at the, at the support and rejecting. Yes, because pound New Zealand is very strong pair. You need to know that pound Zealand is called beast. It's uh, the range of uh, pound New Zealand is huge. You need to be ready for a bigger margin if you want to trade pound New Zealand. But definitely, it's one of the pairs I also trade from time to time, and it's. Uh, well, I can say that it's interesting pair to trade because movements on pound New Zealand can be really, really big. And yes, we can see rejections at this point. Indeed, uh, rejections for pound New Zealand. And uh, yeah, I can agree with you guys. Maybe pound New Zealand will uh, also reject to the upside. But let's see. We need to be patient with that pair. I didn't make any setup on that, but there is possibility we could see some forced rejection. Okay, uh, next pair, what I want to show you is Australian dollar, guys. It's ranging again 074.20, 0 073.80 stop, TP 0.510. Sell could come at 75.70, stop loss 76.10, TP 74.20. So we might see a positional buy trade here. 74.20, okay. Why? Because, guys, this is the range. Pure range, very small range. We can go with intra, day pivots, daily Camarilla. See here, so the price is a way high, high now, but it could start to reject. Yes, very careful, guys. Be very for uh, RBA decision, so trade at your own risk. Okay, so RBA decision, I will put risk warning. Very, very, very uh, dangerous, but uh, technically, Technically, it could happen, but please be careful because of RBA decision, okay? Uh, the thing is that it's in the range, but uh, what can happen is really the, the pair could drop to 74.20 and then reject. Look at this. The range is very low, guys. I can say extremely low because it's like 69, 50 pips of a range. It's nothing, guys. Have in mind that if you manage to grab 50% of ATR, you are good. Because people simply uh, don't understand, even experienced traders, they don't understand that, you, that it's impossible to say that 30 pips is the same for Australian dollar and pound New Zealand. When you, when you trade Australian dollar, even if you get 30 pips, guys, it's great because ATR is 55. But if you get 30 pips from pound New Zealand, it's not much because the ATR is 188. So there is simply a misagreement between me and other analysts or traders, call it, whatever you want. They don't understand the basics of price action. And I'm very scared because I saw this, even some people who are really experienced, they, they, they don't mention it. The range is important. It's not like pound New Zealand 30 pips is equals to pound, to let's say Australian dollar 30 pips. Look at the range. 
what Australian dollar makes in three, four days, there is a single day on pound New Zealand. So the range is what matters. Andy's saying he just took 70 pips buying Australian dollar and all from your teaching in pets. This is what I like to see. Excellent. Excellent, guys. That is my point. What Andy just said, I'm teaching you how to fish, guys. That is what you need to know. And don't be, uh, let's say, don't think it's not good that if you make 20 pips on euro dollar, not more, because ATR is 78. So don't let anyone to tell you that you're not trading correctly. It's great. Also, look at this, New Zealand dollar, 55 pips. So do you really think that you can make on intraday position more than 55 pips? then you need really to enter at the bottom or sell at the top. So try to grab 50% of ATR. Look at this, Euro New Zealand, 150 almost. So it's different. 20 pips on Euro New Zealand and Australian dollar are not the same. That is why at least we want to take 20 pips. At least. So Australian dollar, be warned, it's RBA decision, the price can move violently, so if you actually want to trade it, please use volatility protection setting on other markets platform or if you follow market and place your trade with market order, once you're in profit, please secure it as soon as possible. Now, pound yen, possible buy 141.3.50. Stop 143.20, TP 145.00. Again, I think that pound yen is good to go long. 43.50 is here. So let's say this is the zone. Anywhere in this zone could be a buy. This is Leves pattern, guys. If you watch price action training school, L, V, Z, or Leves. See, low volatility zone, bang. So I expect price here, if it gets there, I think it, it will be bought again. But also what I think is that this could be N pattern, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we might see another push to the upside. So possible one, two, three happening at this point on one hour time frame. One, two, three, and it's N. See, you know one, two, three. We covered it on price action training school. So it also could be a buy trade. But don't forget if it pulls back here in the next two days, we can also buy it. Chad is asking, Nenard, where can I get a ATR indicator? Of course, Chad, you can send me an email and I will Get, I will send you the ATR indicator. My email is, as always, tarantula, fx at gmail.com. So just ask me and don't, don't uh, think that if I, if I don't uh, answer immediately, it means that I probably left it for tomorrow, but I usually try to answer all of your emails, guys. And sometimes I might even skip it, but it's really, I'm very, very busy. So uh, sorry if I miss from time to time your emails. You can always resend it. And I'm trying to reply to all of you. Okay, so that was uh, pound yen. And finally, dollar CAD. Uh, Angel is asking about gold. Yes, I will. Yes, I already took a look at gold angle. I think it could go up, but I will take I will I will look at it again. Yes, uh, I had a live interview with Dale Pinkert, uh, famous trader and he's been very long into business guys, Mr. Dale Pinkert. And uh, yes, I mean, uh, we already watched gold today during the interview, so I remember yes, it's an uptrend angle and I think it could go up. But I will take a look at this. Carmen is saying, yeah, I saw you were great. Thanks, Carmen. 
yeah, <laughs> with my glasses and my headset, I, I looked like I came from the future, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, these glasses that I wear are actually to protect my eyes. That is also, guys, what, what I want to tell you. It's very important that you protect your eyes during trading, so even if you don't have uh, any problem with your eyes, you can see normally, it's still it's important to wear a protection because there is a blue uh, rays that your uh, monitor always emits. It, it's very bad to your eyes, so try to protect from those UVA, UVB rays and blue rays. Get it immediately, especially if you stare at screen and watch it uh, three to four even more hours per day. Per day. Uh, this is guys dollar Ken and I will get to your questions uh, here <clears throat> okay here dollar cat is in uptrend position by 3580 stop loss 3540 TP is 3690 breakout above 3696 guys this is the level to look for a possible breakout stop loss below last one hour low TP 3720 Okay, so this is very important, guys, for you to watch. Uh, so, break out above this level, stop loss below, and sell trade around 37.30. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, great, guys. A lot of comments here. I will get back to you right away. Just let me show you dollar CAD. Dollar CAD uptrend. Clear uptrend here. Watch this, guys. Zigzag. You see how EMA is acting like a support. Watch this. Bang. Upside. Watch this. T89 pattern. This is my proprietary pattern, T89. A lot of traders trade it even exclusively and uh, here you see it's like T89 generally I want to see this kind of rejection I want to touch this but it's also good it's one of my proprietary candlestick patterns although guys market is has changed a lot it's not like 10 years ago so we really need to use confluence, not single tool. Okay, so it's about aligning all important points, including historical versus now moment perspective. This is one of the most important price action uh, tools, historical versus now moment perspective. Don't forget, you need to watch the history, always. Now, uh, Let's get back to your questions and once more, 3580 is, this is where price could reject. If it gets to 3696, it's a breakout buy because it will be W, you see W pattern here. It looks like a Adam and Adam, but it's also W, but you see it could be Adam and Adam because of these weeks. Although Adam and Adam has weeks at both sides, but Definitely, it's bullish. Call it Adam and Adam or W. And about 36.96, 37.30. If it gets here, H5. I think this could be a retracement there. Okay. Now questions, guys. Uh, the first question is: Nenad, could you please think about? Uh, uh, can you please take a look at gold? Uh, yes, Angel. Gold, gold, gold. This is gold. Okay, I really need to use for our time frame. Uh, yeah, this it was support, but then because it already dropped, I don't know. This was support, so if you traded uh, angle, if you traded it here, you should have book, you should have protected your profits here, because you see it's very strong resistance here. Watch this. So if you made your entry here, it it was very strong resistance. You should have protected your profits here. 
I, I already explained during webinar with Dale, this could reject and it went up, but you see now it's going down. So you need to watch the next support. Now we need to use, definitely we need to move on to weekly pivot points, four hour time frame. Okay, this is previous swing. I think support is close and I think it, it's targeting. Yes, you see, ADA, even though if we, if we go with slightly bigger swing, this is the major swing here, you see it's still between 78 and 88.6. This is the zone. Okay, this is the zone to watch for possible longs. And once you're in profit, if it gets there, protect it. You need to move your stop loss because gold is very volatile. You cannot just set and forget it. It's a volatile pair. It's moving a lot, so you need to be ready to protect your profits once you are in the profit. It's very important. Next question. Could you please think about to schedule some training about volatility protection? Manuel Gonzalez, uh, I might think about it. Uh, so, yeah, stay tuned, Manuel. Javier, you will be again with Dale tomorrow. No, we had a, a session today, small interview, and maybe in a couple of months we will be there again too. Hazelhoff. free Forex Look software to block blue light on PC available on Google. Great. Uh, thank you for the information, Hazelhoff. And still, I'm looking, uh, you know, I'm looking through glasses that are protecting my eyes, but yes, I will take a look at it, at it. Also, I want to pay attention, I want to say that it's very important that those glasses are uh, are not cheap, because uh, simple plastic that is that just has a reflective coat won't do any good. So, uh, here I think uh, the price is around 100, 150 euros just for uh, the lenses. So the lenses are very important if you want to block everything. But I will take a look at the, the software, definitely. Uh, software is software, uh, glasses are actually, glasses is hardware protection. Uh, Euro GBP, okay, Euro GBP, let me show you, Euro GBP. Okay, where is Euro GBP? It should be here, yes. Euro GBP, uh, <laughs> this is tricky now. Four hour is uh, still in uptrend from this spot, but generally this is downtrend. Uh, tricky. I wouldn't trade Euro GBP now. You see, it, it was in big, big, big uptrend from here because it made a gap then technically this gap hasn't been closed yet, you see? So, uh, but the price has made a W bottom here, you see? So it could spike to the upside. This looks like inverted bottom here. You see, it could basically reverse. So I would stay away from Euro GBP, definitely. Yes, definitely I would stay away from it. Uh, Ankit is saying the dollar cat is locked in range, yes, but with bullish perspective at this point. Uh, Rodica is asking, how can I get invitation link to Wednesday webinar? I'm from Romania, you're great. Thank you, Rodica, thank you. And uh, here, I will send you the link, guys. And also, guys, uh, don't forget it, if you come from US or wherever you come from, guys, don't forget it, you can always join, that is why I made a session available also to you as traders. Here, education, I will go here, so if you go to Admiral Marcus website, go to education, Forex and CFD webinars, and here you can go Wednesday live trading session with Nenad. Just, just sign up here and everything will be fine. Andy is saying he got on Amazon some glasses for 20 pounds. Wow, that, that is cheap indeed. 20 pounds is very, very good price. It should have some sort of guarantee, okay. Uh, 
there no problem uh, Gerhard uh, is asking for dollar yen dollar yen uh, okay a yen pairs usually go in correlation so I expect more upside from dollar yen uh, the rejection could kick in about 112.20 and here is the level to look for possible rejection yes I already explained with interview with Dale here you could watch for possible rejection trades yes very important for you guys to know this is order block this was order block too but if it goes from up from down to up if it makes a swing in downtrend this is order block if it makes a swing in uptrend so it's retracement this is order block when these two order blocks collide they create the zone the zone if it's in a confluence with other important price action tools usually proves historically to be right too so if you watch this zone there were there were a lot of rejection from the zone see up and down so what I think is you see what I think is on the next hit the zone could reject the price historically it rejected here it made uh, the bottom this could be inverted head and shoulders or so-called bullish SHS bullish shoulder head shoulder where this would be left this would be head and this would be right shoulder if the price rejects so what I would look at into I might also trade live on Wednesday if we don't see uh, this price until Wednesday I might take a live trade also here shorting 112 between 20 and 30 easy job right not for traders who know what to look at and who, who know how to approach it to me this is very clear unless unless very important there is a major news announcement if that happens this can spike collect all stops above this and then gradually grind to the downside so beware just beware of spikes if we see a slow grind towards this zone here I think it could reject at the first touch and go down. Let's see what could happen. Uh, Agnes is asking where we can see your today's interview. Guys, uh, Dale will send the interview very, very soon. And uh, if it doesn't happen today, I think it will happen tomorrow. And I will tweet and I will post on Facebook page. And I might also upload it to YouTube. So no problem Idris is saying thank you Nenad for your very good analysis thank you too Idris Mario is asking for a euro Australian dollar let's see euro Australian dollar let's see it should be somewhere here I will move it a little bit higher euro Australian dollar in uptrend this is confluence zone definitely order block here L3 support ATR low this could reject <sighs> exactly 61.8 good zone to go long I might even trade this setup if it happens soon. Maybe make a pending here. This looks good to me. Although I don't take uh, all the pairs, I will be very careful because of RBA decision. So, but generally, if it was not for RBA decision, I would go probably long at this spot. It looks good to me, really. It could spike to the upside. Uh, okay guys if you have any more questions um, I will be glad to answer if not uh, let's uh, wait and let's see what will happen uh, today it's a very slow day because of uh, bank holiday but I expect uh, volatility to get back during Asia session starting from Tokyo session all the way down uh, to London session and more so yes uh, 
It's always like this when we have bank holidays. You see, euro dollar, very, very small range on euro dollar, only 40 pips. But let's see. Thank you guys for listening to me. I don't see any further questions. Tomorrow I'll come with uh, other analysis for pairs that I didn't cover today. Uh, I hope that uh, we will have a profitable week. And I expect you to come on my Wednesday live session, live training session. Thank you for listening, guys. I wish you a great day ahead and uh, talk to you very, very soon. Cheers, guys. Trade safe.